please insert the CD that came with your MP4 player into your computer. Once loaded up, you should be presented with this autoplay screen. All we need to do is just double click on the option that says open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. Once we've double clicked on that, we then need to select the top left hand side folder, just here, by double clicking on it. We then need to double click on the setup icon, which is at the very end of the list. This should then present us with a setup wizard screen. Just read the information and then click next. We then need to change the option from just me to everybody at the bottom left hand side and again click on next. We then need to confirm the installation by clicking next. This then brings up a loading bar. We just wait a few seconds, it should load up. The speed of this may depend varying on the speed of your computer. Read this information. As stated at the beginning of this video, you do need the latest version of Windows Media Player and Microsoft Direct X in order for the Convert tool to work properly. If you have got these, click Next. The installation is then complete and we can close it down by clicking Close. Depending upon which version of Windows you have, you may be presented with several pop-up screens during the process which ask you to continue or install drivers. If you do, just click on Yes or Continue or install the driver. Then just allow the computer a few seconds just to finish loading the program into your hard drive. Once that's done we don't need this screen anymore so we can close it down. We then need to make sure that the program has been installed on our computer by clicking the Windows Start button in the bottom left hand side of the desktop click on all programs. This then gives us a list of all the programs on our computer which we can scroll through and the one we're looking for is MP3 Player Utilities 4.00. Click on that, gives us a few different options but the one we need to convert videos is the AMV Convert tool. Just click on that to use it. This would be the same every time we need to use the program to convert a video file. You'll also need to have the CD inserted every time that you convert a video file. Uh, you see the computer's just loading up the program. Again, this may take a few seconds depending upon the speed of your computer. And there we go. We've now been presented with the AMV Video Convert tool, which we can use to convert videos. Now that the convert tool has been installed on our computer and the CD is inserted in the disk drive, we can now convert videos. First of all, we need to select the output file, which is basically where the finished converted AMV video is going to be stored on our computer. We do this by clicking on the CD icon just here. This then gives us several options of where we can place the finished video once it's been converted. Personally, I like to put the finished videos on my desktop. This saves time in having to find them in various folders. To do this, all we do is just click on desktop and then click OK. You can now see that the output file destination is the desktop of my computer. We then need to select the input file, which is basically the original video that we are going to convert into AMV format. To do this, we just click on the folder icon at the side of the input file box. This then brings up straight away our videos. 
If you have videos in other files or folders, you can simply just click on the drop down arrow and pick exactly where your videos are to select and convert. But we're going to stick with the ones that are in my videos folder. The first one I'm going to convert is the Butterfly WMV file. WMV means Windows Media Video, so obviously it plays on Windows Media. So we click on that, it says Butterfly in the file name, then we click Open. As we can see in the input file, it now says Butterfly.WMV. And also in the box at the bottom, just here, it says that the video butterfly is there and the status is unconvert and obviously we want to convert it. When we're ready to do so we'll click on these double arrow icons in the middle. And once we do that the original video will play quickly in this top box and the status bar will shoot across showing the progress of the conversion. So we're going to convert by clicking this button here. There we go, we can see the original video playing, the conversion bar at the bottom shooting across to 100%. You then get this little configuration screen, just let it run through its process. This will happen every time you convert a video. Click OK. We don't need the player so we'll close that down. And there we can see the status has now changed to success, meaning it's been converted to AMV format. To check the video, we can actually play it by pushing the play button here. And there you'll see the video is now playing normal speed, and if it has sound, you'll be able to hear the sound at the same time. Okay, we're just going to run through that process again by converting a different video. So we'll, again, we need to change the input file. So we'll click on the little folder here. That brings up our video folder, and this time we're going to convert the WMV video lake. So just click on that, then it goes into the file name box, you can see it there. Click open, and the input file on our convert tool changes to lake.wmv, and you can see it's been added in the box at the bottom, along with the butterfly one, which we've already done, so we're going to untick the box because we don't need to convert that again. You see, as long as the box is ticked, it says unconvert. And uh, we're going to click the double arrows in the middle. Again, the video plays quickly in the top box, and the status bar shoots across to 100%. The configuration screen comes up. Again, just let it do what it has to do. Click OK, and close the player because we don't need that. And there you can see it now says success, meaning the lake video has also been converted. And again, if we just want to check it's been converted OK, we can push the play button. And there we go, the lake video is playing at normal speed and with sound. It's now been converted to AMV format. And there we can see on our desktop, the video files Butterfly and Lake are in AMV format. You can always tell this because it's a white icon with a video camera on it.